This activity, called Ten Commandments Toss, will allow the children to engage in a physical activity while they also think through some scenarios where the Ten Commandments might apply to their lives. The children will toss a bean bag at some numbered squares. They will then pick a paper with that number from out of the Bible to answer and discuss. Lead the activity something like this. Who can tell me what we're learning today? God gives me rules to follow. Good job, that's right. God gives me rules to follow. Some of the rules he gave us are in the Ten Commandments, and we're going to learn more about them right now. I've placed a bunch of question cards here in my Bible. One at a time, you're going to take this beanbag and toss it at these numbers that are right behind me. Whatever number you land on, or your beanbag lands on, is the number that you're going to pull out of the Bible. The paper has a question on it for you to answer, and then we'll all talk about it together or we'll do what the paper says. All of the things we talk about today come from the Bible. That's why we're pulling them out of the Bible so that we can remember that God gives us rules in the Bible. Let's get started. Sarah Beth, would you like to go first? Oh, why don't you grab Sam's beanbag and try again? I think both of those combined probably land close to the number six. What do you think? All right, we'll take the number six away. Can you find the six in the Bible here? Yes. Good job, let me read it for you. What should you do if you have two toys and your friend doesn't have any toys? Probably give my friend a toy. Give your friend a toy, does everyone agree? You're right, you should share with them so that both of you have something to play with. Right now, I'm going to give some of you two stickers and other people I'm not going to give any stickers to. If you have two stickers, I want you to share with someone who doesn't have any. God tells us in the Bible that we should share, so sharing is the right thing to do. Two stickers for you. Sam, I'm sorry, I don't have any for you. Brendan? Which one would you like? You can pick. Awesome job, guys. I'm so proud of you. Not only did you let did you share your stickers, but you let the person you were sharing with pick first. That is a very good thing to do. You would continue the game by letting every child throw the beanbag and pulling a different question out of the Bible. And then wrap up the lesson something like this. You all did so good answering my questions and talking about some of the rules God wants us to follow. Everything we talked about was from the Ten Commandments in the Bible. When we follow God's rules, it's better for us and for everyone else. Some of the rules that God wants us to follow are in the Ten Commandments, and we should learn all about them so we can do what He wants us to do.